let's let's speak to that. We see this happening with, within the opposition political party spaces. We heard this before in the previous regime. Uh, we're hearing this now, where if something happens, uh, somebody makes a report, wherever they make the report from, the first thing that comes to an opposition political party leader or member is that this is coming through from the head of state. The head of state is the one who's orchestrating all this. Uh, does this speak to how generally, as, as some Zambians, you do not believe in the autonomy of, of these, of these uh, law enforcement forces and investigative wings? No, you know, actually, with, uh, it used to happen also, yes, we during that during that uh, in the previous regime, if I could call it call it that way, but with this regime, with President Aka in the Ichilema, unfortunately, he's even so careless about it that he even uh, you know freely expresses it. He freely expresses it, so we cannot doubt that clearly he is. You know, what do you mean by when he says he, he freely expresses it? For example, when he had a press conference. When he had a press conference, he freely expressed himself when he spoke about Nakachinda. Nakachinda must pay. He freely spoke about a uh, uh, bomb and Dusambo. No, we will see. He freely spoke about uh, uh, Chitotela. We will see. So this is very clear. But, and, but for me, I mean, uh, these, uh, conf these, these conflicts between me and him have not started today. They go back into the time when he was a, when he was in opposition, and the way he has been treating me, the way he was treating me then when he was in opposition, is exactly how he's treating me now that he has the instrument of power. Remember when he was in opposition, he sued me. Where did he sue me? He sued me in Livingstone, and when I went to Livingstone, I mean I had you know a battalion of uh, cadres waiting for me to pounce on me. The same thing happened in Lukulu. So clearly for me, this is Haka in the Hichilema doing his thing. But aren't you you're also aware that this is a man who has uh, so much support, uh, people who generally love the president and will not be very happy when they hear someone call him uh, names and, and, and issue certain statements that might ridicule them according to their perspective. So when, when we have people who report these things, uh, don't you see that it's just genuine love for this pre president that they will make those reports? It is, it is lack of leadership to use, uh, to, uh, to use uh, people as an excuse that they have done this. I mean, they're doing it without me. It is poor leadership because when you are a leader and you have set the tone, people will follow that. I'll give you an example of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the issue of wearing um, different party ligaria. Mm -hmm. President Akainde Ichilema, on that one, let's give him. He has given a direction, don't beat them, don't harass them, you don't see people being harassed. But on these other issues where he is involved, they do them. Like, for example, another example that I would give you, the issue of the DPP. Because he's directly involved, you see Kadas doing certain things. Even in my case, because he is directly involved, you see Kadas doing certain things. So Kadas are only executing what the top leadership is asking them to. Another example that I would give you is that you can report, right now we have a, a, a TV station, a KBN. They, they, was, uh, they got their property and everything. Investigations are still going on. If it was something related to police, if it was something related to Chilufatayari, the resources and the expertise, the skill would be found, just like what happened. Where do you get a suspect? How many suspects do we have who are supposed to be transferred from just the Matero to Kawata, and they don't transport them within an hour? But for Chilufatayari, a nice vehicle was found, very nice vehicle was found, fuel, full tank was found, everything was found. Where, where did that come from? It is because the guy on top is superintending over those. Well, it could also uh, be seen from a perspective of you are an opposition political party leader, uh, so the, the, the profile of the case may be also different from uh, just an ordinary individual from, from how, Matero, perhaps. How, how high is this profile? case of me expressing myself compared to a case of Pamela. How high? Imagine those cases. How high is this case if, in terms of profile of so many murders that happen in this country and the police don't close up? You, you, you seem convinced that it's an agenda uh, towards you. I mean, he had that briefing that you speak about. 
surely if, if, if you are part of a, a, an agenda that you, you, you claim it could be, I mean, your name didn't come up. He d didn't make direct reference of to yourself. Course, of course. So what makes you believe of, there's an of, agenda? Of course, Hakainde Ichilema will never mention Chulufatayali's name. He will never mention Chulufatayali's name because he wants to pretend that Chulufatayali is just a non-entity who should be ignored. But the worst nightmare that he has in his political life it's this man, Chilufatayali, because he's a public lawyer. It's not because of Chilufatayali personal, no, 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 because I'm a public lawyer. And for sure, President Haka Inde Ichilema doesn't sleep. That's why he's even scared to mention that name. But this is a man that you told in his face you admire. Do you still admire him? Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say I, I, I admire him. You know, sometimes we should also understand the, uh, the, the language of irony. You should also understand the, the language of irony. So were you being sarcastic when you, when you were saying that? <laughs> really? <laughs> what am I admiring about Aga Inde Ichilema, apart from the fact that he was given a political party by one gallant uh, uh, citizen of this country, Mazoka? Without Anderson Mazoka, President Haka Inde Ichilema is nobody in politics. Without Haka Inde Ichilema, without Mazoka, he is nobody. President Haka Inde Ichilema benefits on the infrastructure built by Mazoka to build uh, UPND, to bring it where it was. If anything, if you remember, in 20, is it 20, uh, 2001, I mean, Mazoka almost became president. He almost became president. So Haka Hinde Ichilema has very little to boast about. We should be talking about people like myself who has started a political party with nothing. But there's, there's so many uh, great leaders we've had in this country who would, would also perhaps say we're nothing without another individual. Yes. But you're looking yes. at the former president yes. who uh, his story is well yes. known. Yes, yes. We have many presidents who yes. have experienced that. So yes. what makes it so so different that it shouldn't be boasted about? No, no, no. It's not any different. It's not any different. I'm just stating it that Haka Inde Ichilema, there is nothing to admire about Haka Inde Ichilema because so at meaning, least... So meaning you, 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 are, you are not being truthful when you told him you admired him in person. Irony. Because you, you, you say these things on social media, but when you met him in person, you, you, you couldn't speak to them. The, the most you say is that you admire him. Look, you know, and, 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 and even that scenario, didn't you find it interesting that I'm the one that stood from my seat and went and confronted him? Perhaps I went you, to because, him. Perhaps because you admire him? <laughs> Forget it. It's to go to show him to say, Buana, I don't fear you. I don't fear you. You can ask the journalists that went there, that were there. I actually said, you know what? I'm going to greet him. Because as far as I'm concerned, Haka Inde Ichirema is just a human being like me. He's just a human being like me, but he is, he wants to be, to be worshipped like he's another small god. But no, Haka Inde Ichirema, he's a human being like me, created in the image of God like me. And he should not be threatening anyone. He should not be pouncing on, on people like me. He shouldn't. By the fact that he's a Republican president, it doesn't give him the power to do with us as he pleases to do with this country as he pleases. Not at all. I refuse that.